Mr. President. Thank you. Um, first, I'd like to just start out getting your general reaction today to the impeachment hearings on the Hill. Do you feel that Democrats made their case, and how did you feel about the Republican performance? You're talking about the witch hunt? Is that what you mean? Is that what you're talking about? I, I hear it's a joke. I haven't watched. I haven't watched for one minute because I've been with the President, which is much more important as far as I'm concerned. Uh, this is a sham and uh, shouldn't be allowed. It was a uh, situation that was caused by people that shouldn't have allowed it to happen. I want to find out who is the whistleblower because the whistleblower gave a lot of very incorrect information, including my call with the President of Ukraine, which was a perfect call and highly appropriate. And he wrote something that was much different than the fact. Uh, I want to find out why the IG, why would he have presented that, when, in fact, all he had to do is check the call itself, and he would have seen it. I'm going to be releasing, I think, on Thursday, a second call, which actually was the first of the two. And you'll make a determination as to what you think there. Uh, but I've heard just a report. They said it's uh, all third-hand information, nothing direct at all. It can't be direct because I never said it. And all they have to do is look very, very simply at the transcript. If you read the transcript, this was analyzed by great lawyers. Uh, I want to find out why the IG, why would he have presented that? when, in fact, all he had to do is check the call itself, and he would have seen it. So uh, that this country gets put through that, that we have to waste this gentleman's time by even thinking about it, talking about it. I'd much rather focus on peace in the Middle East. And uh, I, hear that it's, uh, I hear that it's a hoax, and it's being played as a hoax. That's what I hear, but you'll have to tell me. Go ahead. Uh, that uh, Ukraine was prepared to do uh, everything that you wanted it to do. Could, was that, is that correct, and can you fill in some more? Questions? I know nothing about that. First time I've heard it. The one thing I've seen that Sondland said was that uh, he did speak to me for a brief moment, and I said, no quid pro quo under any circumstances, and that's true. The other, I've never heard this. In any event, it's more secondhand information, but I've never heard it. Do you recall having a conversation with I Sondland don't recall. No, not time? at all. Not even a little bit. Uh, uh, the only thing, uh, and I guess uh, Sondland has stayed with his testimony, that there was no quid pro quo, pure and simple. Our goal is to expand commerce between the United States and Turkey, reduce our trade deficit, and ensure a truly fair and reciprocal relationship. Frankly, Europe should be paying for this to a large extent. As of this moment, uh, Turkey's been paying for most of it. I think the President was saying today they've spent over $40 billion on uh, the cost of that, 40 billion. 40. How much? 30 oh. million. 40. That's what I said. <laughs> Whatever. He spent a lot, okay? <laughs> they give it, they're throwing out all these different numbers. I heard it was $40 billion. How is that? 40 billion, correct? So $40 billion. And I've heard that number from others, and that's a lot. Uh, Europe has contributed about three, uh, and uh, a lot of these people would go all throughout Europe. I mean, it would be a, a devastating situation for Europe because he's got four million people. He has a lot of Kurds, too, that they're helping and taking care of. So uh, I, I, I have spoken to Europe about it. I think they should help us with ISIS because many of them left France and they left Germany and they left UK. They left different countries. And these countries should help us because if they ever did get released, which we won't be doing. But if they ever did get released, that's where they want to go. They want to go back to France and Germany and UK and all of those other countries that are not helping us. Uh, I gave them the option, would you like to have them back? And intelligently, they said, no, thank you. But that's not right and it's not fair. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. My question is, all senators I meet all of them, I interviewed them, I believe. Uh, we have a great relationship with the Kurds. We have had. Uh, we're with them now. We get along with them. And by the way, I think the President, uh, he may have some factions within the Kurds, but I think the President has a great relationship with the Kurds. Many Kurds live currently in Turkey, and they're happy and they're taken care of, including health care. We were talking about it before, including health care and education and other things. So that's really a misnomer. But our relationship with the Kurds has been a very good one. Remaining on the side of the Syrian territory. Benim böyle bir konumum var. İki çok daha önemlisi şu anda bilmeni isterim. 
Parlamentoda benim partimin 50'yi aşkın Kürt milletvekili vardır. Bizim Kürtlerle sorunumuz yok. Bizim sorunumuz teröristlerle. Herhalde teröristlere sizler de sahip çıkmazsınız. Kim olursa olsun. Bunu da ayırım yapmayacağız. Bizim mücadelemiz dediğim gibi tamamen teröristlerledir. Çünkü teröristin ırkı, milleti, dini, vatanı olmaz. Terörist teröristtir. Eğer mücadeleyi vermezseniz bedelini yarın çok ağır ödersiniz. Thank you. Thank you very much everybody. Thank you. Thank you.